Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be ranking every mythical sword in Blocks Fruits. All five of them, even including the true triple dark blade. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so and really helps me out. Let's get straight into the video. So, all the swords that I'll be talking about are right here in my inventory, except for the true triple dark blade. Because, well, it's an admin sword. So the Hallow Scythe, the Cursed Jewel Katana, the True Triple Katana, and Dark Blade. I'll be comparing them to each other, how hard they are to get, how good they are, and if they are just reasonable in general. Just remember this video is entirely my opinion, which is correct, but still, it's my opinion. So if you believe it's different, then tell me in the description below. Aside from the Dark Blade part, you're just wrong on that. All right, so here is my list. As you can see, all the five mythical swords are right here at the top. Now, don't worry about all the other ones. They don't matter for this video. But we're starting off with the true triple katana. Now, the difficulty to get it, I reckon, is a mythical difficulty. Yes, it is very hard, especially since you got to wait in a server for about three to five hours per sword. And there's three swords and it's random whichever one pops up for only 15 minutes as well, and they're each $2 million, my goodness. The difficulty to get this is pretty high. So just like every other sword in the game, it's got two moves. The first one is a little dash, and if you hit an enemy, you grab them, you slash them a bit, and then you chuck them away. Now this move is good for mobility, because it's pretty fast, and it's also a good combo extender. So you can use it to start combos and you can use it to extend combos and whatever. It hits the opponent decently often as it has a good hitbox. And it works well with a lot of fighting styles and fruits. The second move launches a little dragon. Now that dragon goes until it hits an enemy and the ground. If it hits an enemy but not the ground, it drags them until it explodes, creating a giant tornado. The same happens if it just hits a ground or a wall or a ceiling or anything like that. Now this giant tornado launches the enemy up way far into the air. It can be a little difficult to combo with this, but if you do, it does a ton of damage. Plus it can be used to get some really cool shots on people who are trying to run away from you. Overall, I also think that this sword is balanced well enough to be a mythical sword. Now this sword, I believe, is probably in the meta right now. It is really good, but it is quite difficult to get. I think it deserves the mythical ranking. Next up is the Hallow Scythe. The Hallow Scythe is honestly pretty underwhelming. Yeah, the Hallow Scythe is pretty easy to get. I don't think that's a way you should get a mythical sword just dropped from a random enemy. Well, not just a random enemy, it's a raid boss, but still. And then the moves are also kind of underwhelming. The Z move launches a little hallowed tornado out. It goes decently far and it drags the enemy with you, or with it, I should say. But this thing is almost impossible to combo with unless you literally teleport over to the other opponent unless you literally teleport over to the opponent after you hit them with this move to continue on a combo. So it's very difficult to use. And then we're talking about the X move. The X move, the damage is decent. The mobility is pretty good, especially considering you can move directions while using it. And it does more damage the lower health the enemy has. But... It is really bad to combo and just to use for farming or anything in general. It chucks the enemy away really far, just like the first move. It's just not great. I don't think that this should be a mythical sword anyway. So I'm putting it in the bad tier. It should not be a mythical sword. 100% it is just garbage. I reckon there's multiple legendary swords that are better than this in every way. Harder to get, better for PvP, better for grinding, whatever. This sword just does not deserve to be a mythical. 
Now, yes, the clicks do not move you forward like the other mythical swords, aside from Curse Jewel Katanas, that doesn't move you forward as well. But it's just it's just bad. Like if you're a Buddha using it, yeah, it's all right, but I recommend using any other mythical sword. Now, next up, we have Dark Blade. This is probably one of the swords you've been waiting for me to talk about. Now, Dark Blade, the only ways you can get it are one, by paying for it. It's the only sword in the game you need to pay money for, or you get someone else to pay money for it for you to gift it to you, or you trade or you trade it from them, or if you're extremely, extremely lucky, then you get it from like an admin or something, or a giveaway. But yeah, either way, someone has to pay for this thing. So it's not that great to get it, but once you got it, it's decently good. The Z move and the X move are pretty nice, honestly. They both stun for a little bit of time. Like the Z move, it stuns in a big area in front of you for about one second. And you can also hold it down for a second to be launched forward. Now that's a decent option. So it's just free mobility on that move. And the X move launches a giant slash out at your enemies. It travels a far distance, but usually it's kind of slow. It knocks them back slightly, but also stuns them so that they can't hit you if they hit with that. But like the first move, you can also hold it down for a second so that it gets transformed into a super fast version going the same distance but much faster. Both of these moves go well together, meaning that you can use one and then hit the other one immediately after and you can use it in a combo like that, but there are better options overall. Considering you have to pay for this damn thing and the moves aren't the best out of the mythical swords, I'm just gonna put it in the good tier. The next mythical sword is the Cursed Jewel Katana. Now, yes, this is what I think a mythical sh sword should take to get. The quest to get the Cursed Jewel Katana is really big and really challenging and fun as well. I think the Cursed Jewel Katana deserves the ranking of a mythical just based on how you get it. Like, that is great game design compared to something like Hallowed Scythe or Dark Blade. Ugh, yuck. Anyway, the moves are also really nice. The Z move can be used and just tapped and it launches out a miniature tornado that drags the enemy with it before exploding at the end or hitting an object and launching them slightly up, much less further up than True Triple Katana and much less distance than the Hallowed Scythe. So it can be really good for combos especially if you look straight down and use it like that. You can also hold it, and while you're holding it, it spins around you before being launched when you let go or after about a second or two. This does extra damage and also keeps your enemies spinning around you, so you can either wait for a cooldown while holding it or choose where you want to throw them. Now that move is a good combo extender, I really do like it. The next move, the X one, is also really cool. If you just tap it, you get launched a decent distance and you can go straight through your enemies. And then there's a delay before they are hit and get launched in the same direction that you were launched so that you can look back and then continue to do a combo. On top of that, you can hold it for about a second where it makes a little click noise and then you'll go much further. Like it is, I think, the furthest distance in the game you can go with a sword. Correct me if I'm wrong though. Anyway, it's really good for catching up to people running away and for also running away yourself. Now both of these moves do high damage and also are really nice for comboing. So that along with being a mythical way to get it, I think it is truly in the meta. The top S tier, bravo, amazing. Now finally, the triple dark blade. I won't waste much time on this one. It's literally just Dark Blade. The Z move is exactly the same, but the X move launches an additional two slashes in 45 degree angles of both sides of the original one. It is literally impossible to get, unless you're friends with one of the admins and they give it to you, or if you have like a bajillion subscribers. Considering no one can get it, I would have put it up at good or maybe even in the meta if you were able to get this, but considering 
that no one at all can get it, it is just going in the very bad. If you agree or maybe even don't agree with my rankings, please tell me in the description below. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you all next time.